Hi friends, today let's see how we can create customer invoices and vendor bills in Udo Copy and also see how different accounts are affected while performing these operations. So here we have our accounting module and here we can find two menus, customers and vendors. So uh, from here we can manage operations related to customers and vendors. Now, here you can find a menu invoices under customers. So this is used to generate invoices. So if you want to create an invoice directly, you can just come under here and you can click on create button. So now let me open sales module and create a sale order. Click a customer came and makes an order for a product so yeah you can choose a customer and you can add view the added details and here we can choose a products click here so for this product you can see that your total unit price is 120 and if you want to uh, edit the sales price you can do that from here and you can find the total taxes applied on this product so tax 15 percentage and here we can view the total amount that need to be paid by the customer that is 172.50 now after that we can save the sale order or we can send it to the customer or we can directly confirm the sale order so if the sale order is confirmed you will have the option to generate invoice for the customer so invoice can be generated that is regular invoice can be generated before delivering the product or after delivery so that depends upon the invoicing policy set on the product so here for this product table management box you can find the invoicing policy is on order quantity that is invoice can be created for order quantities and that can be done before delivery You can see total quantity order is one and now we can click on create and you can uh, choose regular invoice or advance payment that is customer can also make advance payment as percentage or fixed amount so here we can click on create and view invoice so here we can find the draft invoice that is automatically generated by odo and you can find the customer details the journal here we have already created a journal for customer invoices and for this you can find the journal entries uh, details like the default income account which is affected so this the income account affected is product sales Close this and you can choose a currency which you want to create the invoice and you can uh, choose a invoice date and due date so due date of the invoice is already set as 21 days or we can set it as immediate payment that is payment need to be done immediately and in this generated invoice you can also find a tab where we can view the journal items so this shows the accounts that are affected uh, when creating invoice like here we can find the income account uh, so you can see amount to be credited is 150 and you can see a tax account so amount to be credited is 22.50 and we also have an account receivable so here we have a debit 172.50 and you can set this account receivable inside your customer form like here when you go to external link of the customer under accounting you have the option to add receivable account so it's already set and after the customer payment and reconciliation this amount will be transferred to bank or cash account 
and here also you can find some other information related to this invoice like the customer reference uh, assigned sales person sales team recipient bank refera the accounting detail like uh, here we can add in the national commercial term and fiscal position so if you set a fiscal position according to that tax and account will be mapped so now let me confirm this invoice so invoice is created and confirmed and now here we can see again some new accounts are added here what is stock in garim so there is this one is actually stock output account and we have an expense account affected so you can see for the product cable management box the expense account is affected after selling the product so this depends upon the accounting mode like in oro we have two accounting mode one is anglo saxon and other one is continental accounting so in the case of continental accounting the cost of a good is taken into account as soon as the product is received in a stock that is when you purchase the product and when you create bill and if the bill is confirmed purchase account is affected but in the case of anglo saxon accounting the cost of good is only recorded as an expense when the good is invoiced to final customer that is why in a sale order we can see that expense account added inside yeah so you can see these items from accounting module also so here under accounting you can find menus uh, like your four journal sales if you open it you can see entries related to the invoice that we have just created and confirmed you can see the income account total credit then the tax account then account receivable then here we can find our stock output account then expense account affected and here we can also find journal entries and journal items so here you can find the journal entry that is related to inventory valuation and you can also track the journal items now here we can see our invoice that we have just created uh this is not registered so the payment is not done by the customer and if the payment is done we can uh, register the payment from here we can choose a journal bank or cash and we can find the receipt recipient bank account then the total amount that will need to be paid then the payment date and income so so we can click on create payment you can see the payment is registered and you can find that ribbon is not changed to pay state it is still in payment so it need to be reconciled after that only the ribbon will change to pay state So here now when you check bank and cash journal, you can see entries created, account receivable, an amount an amount one seventy two point five zero is credited, and you can see here a new account outstanding receipt. So an amount is debited in this account. So 
at the reconciliation only this will be transferred to bank or cash account that is before reconciliation the amount will be only reflected in outstanding receipt account that is in the case of invoice payment there is outstanding receipt account and if you are creating vendor bill then the account will be outstanding payment please create a bank statement can choose a date then journal then you can add a label and the amount and after that you can save it and here let's copy the computed balance and change the ending balance so close this and reconcile so you can see automatically related invoice is added here reconcile and validate it now we check the bank and cash journal so now we can see and uh, the amount 172.50 is affected in the bank account this is reconciliation is done so from 14 onwards Uh, this is a payment flow that is only after reconciliation bank or cash account will be affected till then it will be in an outstanding account that is in the case of invoice it is outstanding receipt and in the case of vendor bill it will be outstanding payment so that's how we create an invoice and that's how the accounts are affected and if you want to create credit note uh, that also can be done uh, by clicking on this credit note so we will discuss about this in a different video and now let's see how vendor bills are generated so for that let me go to purchase menu and purchase some products now here we have the option to create bill so like invoice also we can create bill uh, before payment before receiving the product or after receiving product so that depends upon the bill control policy set on the product like here you can see under purchase tab here we can add the bill control policy so for this product it is on receipt quantities so you can see the bill is created and confirmed so you can view the journal items related to this bill like uh, you can find the stock input account then the account payable so this can be set inside the vendor form
So here we can add it count variable. So you can see 448 is credited on this account and 448 is debited on stock input account. And here we can find other information related to this bill. You can see the bill should be paid because this bill is created for one quantity of armchair which we have received. And you can also set the fiscal position. Now here you can find the purchase journal and you can see that entries are created corresponding to the bill. So here we can find our bill. Now let's register the payment. That if the payment is done. Again, you can see this move to in payment. And if you check bank and cash, you can see the entries related to the bill. That is vendor payment. So you can see account payable for 48 is debited. And we have an outstanding payments account for 440 is credited. So this will be transferred to bank account only after reconciliation. Now let's again create a bank statement. After choosing journal and date, we can add the transaction. Here we can choose a part term and the amount. So here I'm setting it as negative 448. So now we have to update the ending balance. And now click on reconcile and you can see the bill is automatically added here. Now we can validate it. You can see this move to paid state and if you check bank and cash you can see the bank account is effective that is 448 is credited so that's how we generate a vendor bill and that's how accounts are effective and you can also generate refund from here and then for both customers and vendors you can track the payments done here for customers, you can find the payments. And for vendors, if you click on payments. So here we can see the payment that we have just done to the vendor Azure India. Total amount. And if you have any doubt regarding payment flow in order 50, don't worry, we will do a video on that. So that's all for this video and if you require any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odoo at